This is just amazing imagery. This is our water vapor imagery, mid-level moisture. Look at this big cutoff low pressure area. We say it's cut off because it's cut off from the jet stream, which is what steers these things. So right now it's just kind of meandering very slowly northward. It is going to weaken as it comes up this way, but it is going to increase our moisture. So switching back over to conventional satellite with the radar overlapped, you can see all the clouds and you can also see this scattered pattern of showers and there are even a couple of thunderstorms down there. And that's what we're going to be kind of dodging over the next couple of days. So here it is with the computer model. We have high pressure to the northeast. That was initially kind of holding things off, but that's going to slide off. And as this moisture comes up, a stray shower or a sprinkle possible tonight, but I think more of us remain dry. And then through the day tomorrow, there's just going to be the chance for a shower or a storm and maybe even a break of sun at any point during the day. And then a more organized band looks like it's going to come up tomorrow evening. So that's going to be one thing that we can pretty much all count on. And then into the day on Friday, same as Thursday, a scattered shower or storm is possible at any point during the day as the whole system just kind of goes away in terms of it just kind of loses its identity. And we're just left with moisture and just a scattered pattern of showers and storms. So hopefully we can keep those away for the weekend. We'll talk about the weekend in a second. 62, the overnight low, again, a few sprinkles. Maybe a scattered shower possible. The wind remains light and then tomorrow 76 degrees with scattered showers and storms, but there will be a lot of space in between them. So watch our apps real time radar and you can just kind of plan when to go out and take that jog or that little walk around the block with the dog. And uh, again, 76 degrees. That's well above average right now. All right, so we've talked about the next couple of days now for the weekend. The Friday night showers and storms should end by dawn Saturday, maybe a little after. So maybe we get a bleed one of those showers bleeds into the early morning Saturday, maybe on Sunday as well. But I think most of these days will be dry near 80 degrees Sunday into Monday. And we keep the warm weather going all the way into the middle of next week. I don't see major cooling until next weekend, late next weekend to next weekend, guys.